Hi, Simeon here. Just doing a quick video about block files. There's a page on my website where you can download a whole bunch of them uh, that I made. Uh, block files work in all the different fractal units. Uh, there's some presets on there as well, uh, but they only work in the XFX2 and XL. Um, now, if you're if you haven't used block files before, you might be a bit confused about what they are and uh, how you get them into AxEdit. Uh, a block file is basically just a, a collection of parameter settings, um, just defining where uh, all the parameters are for a particular uh, effect. Um, but they're very handy because you can save them into your library and then recall them uh, into any preset that you happen to be editing. Now, if you haven't used block files before and you're not sure where they go, uh, you can create a dummy one uh, by clicking save here. Let's give it a name. And then we can quick access it because we're going to have to restart it later anyway. Um, and they go into your um, AxEdit workspace. And you can see here that test app uh, block file I just created is, is here. So if you did, if you don't know where your, your workspace is, you could search for the, uh, the block file and find it that way. Um, so this is the uh, one of the zip files that I downloaded from my website. So if you open it up, you'll see inside here you've got blocks and presets. And then inside the blocks file, you've got... Uh, sorry, the blocks folder, you've got uh, other folders containing uh, all the different block files. Now these go into here. So inside the blocks folder, inside the AxEdit folder, they go in there. And then the other zip files are other uh, folders which you would uh, add onto this list here. So now when we reopen uh, AxEdit, it should read the block library, hopefully. There we go. And now, we'll get rid of this, we can uh, add in either by right clicking here and going to the library, we can recall one of these, like this, or we can view the uh, all the blocks for this effect type down here. Choose another one. Now, if you uh, quite like this but want to make some changes to it, like this for example, you could click here and you could do a save as and then uh, give it a unique name and save it. And then when you go to a new empty preset or preset you happen to be editing, you can then recall it. There's the one I just saved there, and it'll load with the settings that you just created. Okay, I'll put a link in the description to the page on my website with the blocks available to download, and I hope that's helpful. Cheers.